is the KTLA News at 1. I'm Leela Feinstein. And I'm Glenn Walker. 19-year-old Abdul Arian is being laid to rest at this hour. The funeral comes a day after his family has filed a $120 million lawsuit against the city. For more, we go to... K Thank you. More reward money is being offered for anyone who can help police solve the shooting deaths of two USC grads. Well, you know what? There's a march going on right now in downtown Los Angeles in protest of Tax Day. Christina Pascucci is there live with the thank you for that report. Well, there are some highlights of Tax Day, and that's all the freebies, the RVs. The amazingly loyal black Labrador retriever we've been telling you about will likely be headed home today. Last Wednesday... Amazing oh. just watching that video. Yeah, it's bizarre always to see that piggyback. I like know, that. it really is. Yeah, it's amazing that it works, that it yeah. flies. It does. It does. And you know what? A beautiful day to fly right now. I mean, the sky is just crystal clear, blue, absolutely beautiful. At least on this side of the country. That's right. <laughs> and uh, speaking of beautiful, we have Jessica Holmes here. All right, coming up. He is cool, he is calm, and he is collectible. The background took I, off. I know, that is really, <laughs> truly phenomenal. Well yeah. done. All right, well, a man tries to rob a convenience store, and his weapon of choice, well, get this, Glenn, it's a pair of hot dog tongs. Yes, his bizarre behavior doesn't end there. Reporter Heather Lewis has more. Well, the man accused of massacring 77 people in Norway says he would do it all over. Well, a six-year-old girl in Georgia was put in handcuffs and taken to the police station. A rare sight on the face of the sun. Camera. A wall of fire, that is. That is crazy. We're talking hundreds of miles. That's crazy. It is unbelievable. And then the, the fact that they've captured it on video that mm -hmm. we can watch it, it's yeah. it's unbelievable. You gotta love HDTV. Yes, you That's do. That's true. Yeah. Everything looks better in HD, <laughs> except our faces. <laughs> right? So it looks like a great idea. Yes, it does. All right, a special screening of Bully, and Sarah Welch has all the details. The film shows the debilitating effects of kids being cruel and violent toward their peers. KTLA Sarah Welch is live in Chip. Three people, including an infant, died after a single car crash last night on the 710 free. There was more tough questioning today on the second day of congressional hearings investigating lavish overspending by the General Services Administration, or GSA. John Sepulvado has the story for us from Washington. It won't get you a degree, but there is a free education just waiting for you, and it's online. That's right. KTLA tech reporter Rich DeMuro explains how to get it. All right, new hope for those suffering from prostate cancer. How sound waves. Well, an experimental drug is showing some promise for multiple sclerosis patients. In a study, the pill reduced the number of lesions on the brain and also caused a reduction in relapses. It was also more selective than other treatments. But despite the promising findings, the pill induced some heart and liver complications. Scientists hope the therapy can eventually prevent disabilities and brain damage associated with the disease. Okay, three times. All right, for the latest health news, click on ktla.com slash health. Yes. Speaking of music, some big names in the music industry will be teaming up with local high school students to put on a great benefit concert. Allie McKay has the details with one of the bands performing this weekend. <laughs> win win for the Kipper. Good old Allie. All right, your daily dose of cuteness is up next. That's right. Take a look at this. Thank you. And finally, this afternoon, a little video that is off the charts on the cuteness scale. You just can't go wrong with a baby.